Thank you, Manika. Um, hello, everyone. Can you hear me well? Just to check and see my screen. Yes? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. Thanks, Matteo. Um, so, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, today, I'll give you um, a brief update on uh, the OCP dashboard, in particular, the Manika mentioned uh, the country profiles. And um, this is work done uh, by several people, uh, in particular, Hugo and Paul in my team, who are really the, the developer behind the, the dashboard. So, um, so as you know, the, the purpose of the CV dashboard is to uh, let uh, everyone being able to explore uh, ICG and uh, GTFCC OCV request. Uh, made since 2013. The dashboard is now uh, available since uh, March 2022, um, and there are currently uh, on the on the graph you can see about 90 visits uh, per month, uh, and it's kind of like increasing uh, over the recent months. And so, hopefully, also when we will have the country profile, it will uh, um, attract uh, more attention as well. Uh, the dashboard is currently updated on a monthly basis, uh, but currently is only displaying data at the national level. So this is the kind of data you need if you want to answer questions such as uh, how many doses were shipped uh, this year uh, at the global level, or uh, what is the percentage of uh, those allocated to reactive versus preventive vaccination. Um, but um, the, the also another objective of the dashboard was to be able to explore uh, data at the subnational level. So uh, in particular, that's what we call the country profile and uh, will allow you to um, answer questions such as, such as uh, which areas have been already vaccinated, when was it, what was the coverage at the time. Uh, and so um, really this is the 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 objective right now. So just a, a recap on the uh, journey of uh, OCV. Uh, so you have different steps, um, starting with a request made by the countries. Uh, then if it's approved, there will be a shipment of doses, uh, implementation of a campaign, and usually a coverage survey at the end of the campaign to uh, look at um, indicators of performance. So there are many information we try to collect uh, in, the, to, in, the, in the data collection tools uh, that are behind the dashboard. Um, so for different steps, we want to know the, the country, the type of um, campaign, whether it was reactive, preventive, uh, the decision made by um, ICG and GTFCC, how many of those were requested versus approved, then at the shipment step, we want to know which vaccine was shipped, um, how many uh, doses um, were sent on the different shipment, and the time to deliver those uh, doses to the countries. Um, then on the campaign uh, step, we are interested to know exactly what are the target areas, the target populations, which strategy was used for the vaccination, how many doses were provided during uh, the first round, and if, it, if it's a two-dose campaign, how many doses were provided during the second doses, the second round, <clears throat> as well as the administrative coverage that can be calculated from those in uh, data. And finally, um, on the coverage survey, we are interested to know uh, the coverage the coverage of um, two doses, two people who received to do two doses. Um, one dose or at least one dose uh, versus uh, zero dose. And we are interested in, in collecting both uh, main coverage um, estimates as well as 95% confidence intervals. And usually uh, in those surveys, the um, estimates are provided either by area or by age group or by gender. And so the idea also is to collect all that. So <clears throat> in order to do that, um, because this information is in different uh, places, we um, have designed two databases. 
uh, one that we call the master database and that collect data uh, from request, shipment, and a little bit about campaign. And then another database that we call the country database or also the district database. And that uh, is aiming at collecting data uh, on the campaign and on the coverage surveys. So to give you a little bit of more information about those two databases, um, the master database is uh, Excel, uh, an Excel database uh, that was designed with um, a tool developed at Epicentre called uh, Outbreak Tools. And that uh, allows you to quickly uh, create um, data collection spreadsheets uh, that look like line list. And in this case, it's uh, three uh, sheets that are linked together. Um, so the first one is to collect data on request, then shipment, and then on campaign and round. So uh, the data is uh, currently entered at WHO uh, HQ level uh, by Manika and Vincent. And so far we have data on 173 requests, 198 shipments, and 237 uh, campaign and rounds. So this is the master database at the national level. And then <clears throat> we have introduced uh, this new database called uh, the country database, which is also like an Excel database created with Outbreak tool and contain two sheets. The first one is to uh, describe the target areas. And the second one is to collect data about coverage survey. So I'm not gonna go in detail about the coverage survey because this is still work in progress. But the important things uh, to note is that in order to collect target areas and be able to be to be able to then automatically map this information, you need some standardized uh, geographical information. And so we are using um, a, a web application that we have developed uh, that you can see on the screen on the right, um, and that allows the country to select the zone. Um, where the, the vaccination campaign will take place. And by doing that, uh, you ensure that in the data collection tool, you have um, uh, the, 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 the geographical information you need to select the different areas uh, you are targeting. And, and thanks to this uh, app, we can then automatically map the data in the country profile. So it's, it's a really important step. Um, and so the idea is that in, in, at the difference to the mass data database, this uh, information about the campaign will be entered directly at the country level with the idea to have one file per campaign. Uh, and in the file, you can enter both those one and those two. So currently uh, we, have, we have done a retrospective uh, data entry for uh, 18 campaigns. And so we are, um, also progressing on that, but prospectively, um, as Manika mentioned, the idea is that the um, different um, OCV teams in the Ministry of Health of the countries uh, will be able to uh, fill this information and send it back to us. So currently, we have been developing uh, several templates uh, with, in different language um, and also uh, guidelines. Uh, and we can also uh, provide trainings. So I'm not gonna give you like a quick um, live demo to uh, show you what it looks like. Um, so hopefully you can see uh, my screen. So this is like um, a development version of the dashboard. So it's not exactly the one that is already online. Um, and it differs because here we have one new tab for the country profile. So you should be familiar already with the request and the timeline. Um, but just to highlight some uh, new features that uh, were introduced uh, recently. So um, in the um, in this uh, landing page, uh, you can see the uh, different uh, requests that were made by the different countries split between uh, reactive and preventive. And also uh, over the years, um, uh, how many requests are made. Um, and you can uh, also see a new chart on the uh, bottom right, uh, which show you the, the, the box uh, plot for uh, delays, important delays 
for instance, request to decision where you have the delay over the year. Um, and as a red line, you have the expected time um, of three days, for instance, for request to decision. And so you can change and to different uh, type of delay, for instance, a request to first round of vaccination, which should be a, a target of 20 days. Um, and so you see that in some years, it's more or less uh, above or below this, uh, this threshold. Uh, so that's interesting indicator to follow. Um, and you can plot either by request or also by doses by playing with this button on the, on the left. And for the doses, you can uh, display request approve or ship doses. So the, usually the one that's more interesting is how many doses were shipped over the, the year in different countries. Um, so you see that, for instance, in 2023, it was uh, mainly uh, reactive uh, doses that were shipped. Um, and, and then you can also um, explore in more detail uh, its chart. So for instance, if you want to yeah, focus on the map, you can click this button to uh, increase the map. Um, you can uh, download the map by uh, clicking on this button for your report. Um, and you can also display the same information, but not as a map, but also as a um, bar chart that shows you the, the shipment by countries. So um, this is like a quick overview of the different functionality of the dashboard. Um, and, and this is just a, a global uh, uh, data at national level, but you can also um, here filter to particular countries. So here for this example, I'm gonna filter on uh, Cameroon uh, because this is the, the one we have been uh, working on. So once you filter here, you need to update data and uh, it will show you the same information, but just for Cameroon. So Cameroon um, overall, we had 10 requests, um, and almost 10 million doses shipped since the beginning. Um, and you can see it was mostly in 2022 and 2023. But obviously here you don't see anything um, below the national level because there is no information here. So this is where you can now go into the country profile. Uh, so the second tab, and um, you will have more detailed information. So here right now on the left, you have a filter for the country, but there is only Cameroon, but soon there will be other countries. And you can also um, restrict uh, to uh, most recent time period, uh, if you're only interested to know what happened in the last three years, for instance. Right now, we only have two campaigns uh, that have been uh, encoded for Cameroon. Um, so let's have a look at this. So in this um, um, country profile, you have some uh, basic uh, overall indicator on the top that tells you that uh, currently only two campaigns are displayed uh, out of 11 campaigns. So because data is not yet complete, that those two campaigns were both reactive. Uh, 1.9 million doses were distributed, 50% uh, as a second dose uh, round. Um, and that 15 health zones were targeted. So that's admin level two in three different regions. And that the last campaign was um, less than a, a year ago, uh, between six months and a year ago, and um, 800,000 doses were uh, delivered um, in a second round campaign. So here then you have a timeline plot um, that shows you the, the timeline of the different uh, campaign. Um, and here, uh, actually, there is a, a, a typo here. Uh, it should be 2022, but it's 2021. Um, and, and so you can see the two rounds for the two campaign that are kind of like uh, overlapping. Um, and uh, also uh, here on the bar chart on the right, you can see the, the number of doses uh, distributed during the first in blue and second round in uh, uh, orange. Uh, and you can also uh, change that and show the uh, uh, co administrative coverage that is close to 100% in uh, both those uh, campaigns and round. Um, so they give you like some uh, information on the on the time 
Uh, and then you can have uh, information on where the vaccination took place. So here, for instance, you can see for Cameroon uh, that there were three, the three uh, regions that were targeted. Uh, and in uh, uh, the bubble, you can see the, so I'm gonna be just a little bit bigger. You can see the number of doses distributed. Um, and obviously this information is at the admin one level. So you would like to have it as a more fine scale. So here you have a filter to select one campaign or the other, but here we want to see both. Um, and here on the options, you can actually show this information at different admin levels. So here it's admin one, and now I can show it at admin two. Um, and here, so here I can remove the uh, bubbles if I want to zoom in to see more precisely which um, areas were vaccinated um, and the, the administrative coverage um, for, for those different um, health zones. So this is for the those, those one campaign. Uh, this is the same information for those two campaign. Um, the scale is changing, but here it's a uh, very high coverage. Uh, sometimes administrative coverage can be above 100% actually. Um, like in in uh, in Melong, um, and you see this is showing the coverage, but you might actually want to see when was the last round. Uh, and here, um, in this case, uh, you see that, for instance, those uh, health zones were vaccinated uh, between six and one year ago, uh, whereas those ones were vaccinated between one and three years ago. So this is most rec more recent. Um, you have uh, other different options, but I won't like go in much detail here. Um, just to note, to note that in some campaign, we also have admin uh, three level, um, but not for all. And so in this case, it's possible to also display uh, coverage uh, and other information uh, down to this level. So we encourage uh, countries to uh, enter this information as precisely as possible. Uh, in order to be able to to map that in the in the dashboard and to provide more more detailed information um so this is the the geographical information which um i believe is is also the um the, the more uh, perhaps the more interesting here um and on the right you have uh, some uh info summary statistics for each uh, campaign so for instance, if you filter here to see only one campaign, um, you uh, will uh, only uh, see this information on the right. So for instance, this was uh, a campaign targeting the general population. It uh, occurred over four days in uh, February, 2022. Um, and you have also all the information about the, the coverage. Um, so, that's pretty much it for the demo of the, the country profile. This is uh, really like a first draft um, and we probably uh, change a few things um, over the next coming days uh, before we, we start to, to, to release. Um, so yeah. So, so right now, um, what are the challenges uh, with those country profile? Um, well, the first one I mentioned is that there are some heterogeneities uh, in terms of data resolution. Um, so in, in different uh, campaigns, the data are not provided with the same resolution. So usually we have uh, data uh, down to admin level two, but less often uh, level three or level four. And, um, and so that pose some, some challenges of visualization and making sure that uh, people understand that some data is only partially available and not to confuse the, the user. Um, there are also some challenges to display uh, multiple campaigns that occur in the same area. So we need to define some uh, aggregation rules. The most obvious one is to display only the most recent uh, vaccination campaign, um, but, but it's also um, sometimes challenging when you have like different uh, resolution of those campaigns in terms of space. 
Um, there are also, we notice, um, because I, I mentioned at the beginning, there was some overlapping information between the master database and the country database. So we noticed there are sometimes a few discrepancies between those two. So we need also to, to fix that uh, so that the information on campaign and round is consistent between the um, the different uh, uh, tab in the dashboard. Uh, and finally, uh, there is also um, a, a kind of a challenge uh, to make sure we have uh, all the uh, retrospective data for the um, campaigns that occurred in the past. Um, so to make sure we we can uh, get all the, the OCV reports. So we are working with uh, uh, with Malika and Vincent uh, on this. Um, so just to 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 point some some challenges. Um, and in terms of next step, so we are going to continue with a uh, retrospective and prospective data entry of the campaigns. And we are uh, eager to work in collaboration with the Ministry of Health in particular to have a feedback on uh, using the tool uh, we have designed. Um, we hope to release those country profile um, as soon as possible. We are still, we like some, Kind of uh, first user feedbacks um, and also to have a bit more uh, uh, data to show than uh, just one country. Um, the another uh, next step is to uh, add some features in the in this country profile to help um, decision maker at ICG. In particular, we want that uh, the user can very easily uh, highlight on the map. Um, areas that are targeted by in, in your request so that they can see both the historical background um, and uh, the, the, the target areas in the request, see if uh, how different they are from the areas that were vaccinated in the past. Um, so we, we also, uh, uh, we know how to, to cut that just like we need to, to do it. Um, and, um, and finally, also one important uh, next step is to uh, collect and um, add uh, coverage surveys into the, the OCV dashboard. Um, and here, the, 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 the challenge is that the coverage survey uh, reports that uh, we have from different countries, uh, first, they are not uh, complete, uh, so there are not so, so many, but also sometimes they differ in the way they are presented. Um, and so, we have been uh, starting to discuss with uh, Vincent and Malika on how we could standardize a little bit more this information to, to collect it and uh, uh, and visualize it uh, more easily. So um, on that note, I would like to uh, acknowledge the, um, all the, the people in uh, Epicentre uh, at the WHO and GGFCC and also colleagues at uh, John Hopkins University who uh, have been contributing to this work. Uh, and I'm, I thank you all for your uh, attention.